What's going on there? Leo here with Digital Track. And today I'm going to be talking about four ways to grow your online presence and have more customers find you. So if you are a small business owner here in the Bay Area, uh, Solano County to be more specific, then stay tuned because these you know, four ways I'm going to cover definitely I'm going to help you. But before I get started, uh, my name is Leo. Again, I have a small company called Digital Track. Uh, looking to help small, small business owners that basically want to outsource the uh, online presence. So if you've been thinking about uh, getting more online, you just don't know how to deal with technology or how to deal with social media, or you just don't have the time to get to learn it because you 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 know so busy actually working in your business, then you know let's let's go ahead and talk and actually let me take over that burden from you. Especially if you really feel that there's another area where you would like your business to be. Um, if you also perhaps are currently online, uh, you either would like some advice on what else we can do or you would like somebody else to take over because you have so much going on. You need to focus on a specific area, area on your business, but not you don't want to do so much of the online marketing presence then let's go ahead and talk again, okay? My information should be somewhere out there. You can visit my website, digitaltrack.co. My number is 707-410-0307. It's a cell, so you, cell phone, so you can text me as well. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. For most customers in the 21st century, their uh, first introduction to your business are more likely gonna be on, online. I mean, um, a lot of the business I discover here in Southern Ca County are first online, and then obviously, um, it depends how well the business is uh, presented is they will create that desire for me to go and, and visit. I don't know how so many times I've been uh, scrolling through my Instagram feed and oh boy, I see those uh, pictures of food and I'm hooked. I'm hooked to, to go and check it out. I'll be like to my wife saying, honey, let's go ahead and, and, and take the kids to this place because I want to try it out, right? Because I mean, I am a visual person, so I'll fall, if I if something that looks good on picture, I will go in and 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 test it out or, or taste it. Um, so okay, that's why each and every business should have a strong online presence. Should right? That's a key word. Um, we all don't have that online presence just because. Many different, many different reasons. We don't know, right? We don't know what we don't know. Uh, not only if having an online presence will increase your brand's reputation, and by brand reputation, I mean that if somebody sees something from you online and it has a logo or something that identifies that people will be like, oh, I know that business. I've been there. I love it. I will vouch for you. I will, anybody that I know, I will tell them about your business. That's the kind of... Uh, brand reputation you want your business to have. Um, so, okay, not only it will increase your brand reputation, uh, it will establish you as an authority figure. So, this is very important for those service-based businesses, right? You chiropractors out there, dentists, therapists, HVAC services, electricians, all you uh, can be set as an authority figure if you are teaching online stuff that happens so telling stories about customers and situations where you help your customers you're going to be the figure to go now just think about why we usually tend to go to a specific store obviously we not we may we may not need uh anything at that moment so it will be in the back of our mind even though they're constantly bombarding us with ads those big stores or big companies but the time we need something from them more likely, the very first thing we're going to think about is about that specific company that they were constantly in front of us advertising us. So you have to think about advertising or having an online presence as an investment, right? You as a business owner, you uh, more likely have a some type of uh, sign it within your store or around your store with the purpose that people will notice it, right? They may walk by one day and notice your store and may they may not eat, 
They may walk by the second day, the third day, they might be saying to themselves, oh, you know what? I don't have the, the, the time right now, or I need to wait for a paycheck to come in. I will stop by next time I got some more money, or I will stop by there uh, next time I got some more time. So you have your sign there ca ca catching people's attention, but eventually they will come back because they see you every day walking by. So it's the same thing of you having an online presence or advertising online, right? You basically want to keep your customers informed or possible customers informed what you do, how you can help them. Uh, update him on, on your business, what's going on. It's not always has to be about your business, right? What else your customers care about in reference to uh, your business or other things, perhaps community stuff. And so the more you are out there, just the more the pe people will remind you and vouch for you. All right, so let's go and continue. Um, so how can you stand apart from every other business that is attempting to reach customers online? So here we are, here we're gonna cover uh, four simple methods that will not only grow your um, the online presence, but it will also help you attract more customers. So number one is optimize your website. By that, what I mean is that if you, for some reason, have a website that somebody built for you, or you built for you, you built it yourself years ago, uh, make sure the information is updated, right? Services that you offer, special offers that you may have going on. Uh, change it up a little bit, pictures, bring it up to date. Uh, videos, right? A lot of people are, especially if you're a small business owner, get get yourself known by the community. You know, oh, you're scared about uh, uh, being on video? How about you hire somebody that would just go and um, uh, take videos of you just going about your day, you don't want, you won't even realize they're doing that and then they can do a voiceover. They can be talking about your business and what your business is about and then, you know, talking about anything that may uh, inform your audience or your customers, uh, or especially the deals that you may have going on, etc. So optimize your website, right? Make sure that it's up to date and make sure that, um, that all the services and products that you have are up to date as well, as well as contacts. Okay, um, number two, right, the uh, second option, second way that can help you increase your online presence will be having different social channels. But make sure to choose wisely what to, what, where to be, okay? The reason why I say that social channels, I mean, right, it could be social media, it could be websites like Yelp that you know, everybody goes there and it's a way for you to promote your business, like Yellow Pages online, like um, Angie's List, et cetera, right? All these other websites that can be used for reference. Um, even though everybody else, is, everybody else is there, but still, you still have a presence that is free, right? So take advantage of those. However, what I mean by choosing uh, wisely is that, for example, I have a, I had a client that they had Angie's List, they had um, a presence on Angie's List and they have a presence on uh, Yelp. They invested advertising on Angie's List and they invested advertising on Yelp. Obviously, Angie's List worked much better because, come on, let's, if I put myself in that situation as a client, as a customer, or as somebody looking for services of HVAC services, this, per, this uh, company was an HVAC services company, I'd be looking for Angie's List more for those type of services that with Yelp. With Yelp, in my mind, that's just me, right? I will go there more for uh, uh, restaurant advice or where to eat, advice of where to eat, right? Local places to where to go to eat. So same thing, you know, apply the same rules for your business. Like you don't wanna be in all the channels if they don't work for you. Be on channels that are uh, dedicated to the specific industry that you are. Uh, so number three, go beyond um, blogging. So if you were a business owner that was uh, that highly invested into blogging, by that I mean actually uh, typing um, content in reference to business to your business or related to your business or industry, then also. What else can you do to 
provide content to your audience, right? There's nowadays is videos doing something like this. It's um, providing you some value, but at the same way is content, right? That's going to be there playing 24-7. Uh, number two is podcasting has been, has been becoming popular lately. Um, other things that you can do is, um, let's see, publish, sim give away simple PDF guides, right? Um, or host online uh, webinars or local workshops, uh, etc. So think of outside the box, what else you can do to pro constantly provide value to your audience. So now number four is don't forget um, email marketing and uh, bot marketing or messenger marketing or text marketing, right? You still use email marketing because come on, it's very cheap, very effective. You don't have the same open rates, but you still, there's still a market there that will open emails. So don't leave those, uh, don't disregard those. Um, it's still, very, it is very affordable and easy to do. Uh, Facebook Messenger is becoming very popular for the same reason that right now people are addicted to check new messages on, on Messenger or Facebook. So imagine, so you as a business owner, if you can take advantage of uh, acting now and implementing um, uh, Facebook Messenger marketing, you have a great advantage for people to see your the uh, messages that you send, any offers or promotions or anything, any new content that you come up with or any new event you may have going on. Uh, people are more likely to see because right now, it, so emails right now, uh, average, and it can be open between 15, 20, 30, right? 30 is doing very good, meaning that's a percentage of opening rates, meaning out of 100 people, usually between 15, 20 people will open and see your emails. Um, now, if you had any links to it in, the, in that email, because perhaps you wanted to go somewhere to take advantage of a specific code uh, or, or, or to see something or, or, or purchase something, uh, that reduces, you know, anywhere between one, three, five percent. So, it, it, out of 100 people that you send that, about 15, 20 will open it. And then out of those 15, 20, maybe one or two will click on the link and, and actually get to see, right? What you got going on, what you're offering. So with Facebook Messenger, those opening rates can go anywhere between 50, 75 to 80. In So imagine, right, you have a much uh, more power of people seeing your content or your offers because you now you're sending a, a, a message, let's say for example, to 100 people, 50 people, 65, 75, 80 people may see your uh, announcement that you sent. So you have way more um, uh, leverage or way more uh, visibility, right? Because way more people are gonna open it if you use something like Facebook Messenger, same thing with uh, texting, right? Um, text marketing or texting marketing. There's now many tools that you can implement, very affordable, where people are gonna be pushed out to their phone as a text message, your information. Obviously with text marketing, um, it's more, more of a personal close relationship because obviously you have to get permission from them to be able to uh, receive offers from you, right? So make sure to get that upfront, get, um, uh, permission from people for, for them to receive text from you, uh, from your business. And now they, they are even, uh, voicemail marketing or voice drop or something like that, right? Where, um, your phone will not even ring and somebody will just go and leave you a voicemail. So now you have those options as well available. All right. So I hope this information was helpful. Um, if you need to contact me, you can visit my website, the attract.co and um, we'll be in contact. All right, bye.